Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with another episode of the AC Milan career mode. This is going to be the live com of the Coppa Nazionale final. As you can see on screen, we've got Juventus in the final. I'm not too sure where it's being played. Uh, you would presume perhaps at the Stadio Olimpico. We will have a quick look in a second. I don't need a press conference. And Nigel de Jong, you are most welcome for uh, playing a few games recently. But of course, if you missed yesterday's video, feel free to check it out. There'll be a link as an annotation on screen in the bottom left-hand side of your picture. We did, in fact, uh, finish the Serie A season yesterday. I won't spoil how the uh, how the video goes for you if you haven't seen it, so feel free to check that out. Also, there was a My Player episode went up last night as well, so uh, feel free to check that out. And also, later on today, uh, this evening, at around about half seven eight o'clock ish uh, we'll have another episode a second episode of the uh, the official sticker album for the fifa world cup that will be coming to you again a little bit later on tonight because the first episode went down phenomenally well but i'll uh, i'll talk about that more in the video for that actual uh that actual i guess series now so uh be sure to check your sub boxes for that just subscribe if you haven't subscribed subscribe and then you won't miss out on anything else well what an intro anyway let's get into this game against Juventus shall we I'm probably going to jump straight to the action in the not too distant future I just want to see uh, where we're playing actually what kit should we play in do you reckon we can get away with that we can get away with playing uh, to both home kits can't we it is in fact being played at the Stadio Olimpico but I'm just going to sort the team out and then we'll jump straight in so here we go then, it's the final of the Coppa Nazionale. We're playing at Stadio Olimpico, which is a bit ironic considering we knocked out both Roma and Lazio en route to the final. So we're actually playing at their home ground in this one. Of course, uh, the, uh, the Stadio Olimpico is in Rome and of course uh, Juventus are from Turin and AC Milan are from Milan. So both teams have had to travel a little bit further south in uh, the geography of Italy to be able to come to this cup final. But it's the first final that we've uh, been able to, uh, to qualify for, I guess technically is the term. For, uh, for this series. Very, very pleased to be here. Of course, we finished well in the league yesterday. Like I say, if you missed it, check it out. I won't spoil it for you, but uh, we did finish well in the league. Unfortunately, not as well in the uh, in the Champions League as we perhaps may have liked, but hopefully we can perform well in this one. So uh, I'm going to try my best to get a win. Juventus have been a team that, or probably the team in Italy that we've struggled most against early on in, uh, in this season. And they've beat us both times I think perhaps we maybe we maybe managed to uh, to scrape a draw in one of them I can't quite remember I do apologize but I do remember Juventus being ridiculously hard to beat so I'm gonna have to try my best to try and break them down slowly if I fly at them they'll just catch me on the counter-attack and absolutely rip me apart but we keep in possession well in the early stages maybe if we can get Mario Balotelli involved here with a through ball which we can't then maybe we'll be able to make some early headway but hopefully we can come away with some silverware here the press are picking up on uh, on Bonucci actually and of course we signed him from Juventus in January Ballo can bring this down can he get a turn he can can he get a shot where he can't I'm going to lunge at it Brr. almost took out is that Salvatore Sirigu in goal it is I remember they uh, they bought him in the January transfer window didn't they but I he didn't play against us in the last match we played against Juventus it was uh, Gianluigi Buffon so we're starting a, uh, a Leonardo Bonucci here, as you can see, on the ball. Pass it to him just to highlight the fact. He, of course, is formerly of Juventus. And they're, they're playing their new signing, or new were signing, Salvatore Sirigu, who, of course, they will have brought in from PSG. Hopefully, Sirigu can have an off day and actually perhaps make a couple of mistakes and let us score a couple of nice goals. But, oh... Morris East has shown great strength to hold me off there. Here's Fernando Llorente. Now he is a strong man. And there's the ball over the top to Carlos Tevez. Chance, he puts it wide. A let off. The defensive line was a little bit awry there. That was a nice ball over the top. Completely set all of my defenders apart. And fortunately for us, he puts it wide. A chance for Juventus early on, though. Come through the middle again. I'm waiting for that lob through ball more than anything else. Because if utilised it a couple of times in this, uh, in this early period. But El Shiro with his high, high work rates, doing the defensive bit for the team. Can Mario win that? It's against Ogbonna, he can't, but he's going to come away with it. Ooh, just about. Right, make me run on the outside. Honda's got a chance here. I want to try and get it back on his left foot if I can, so I'll turn. Finesse finish! Salvatore Sirigu makes a great save. We'll take a corner, though. This is our first real chance of the game, 20 minutes in. It's Lulic on the corner. In it comes. Up goes Honda again. Can't quite get there, and it looks as if Juventus might clear it. Unless Montalivo can win the ball against Asamoah, which he hasn't been able to do. And Juventus break away. Yeah, they are going to keep possession. <laughs> Come Juventus again. Juventus got a touch on that, but didn't really do much. Juventus is going to slot back to uh, Carlos Tevez. Cuts inside. I'm just going to try and stand him up. Not been able to do it. Oh, nice one too. Great save from Guita. Juventus with another good chance through Carlos Tevez. This time the goalkeeper was called upon. Apart 
a uh, kind of opposite to the last time where Tevis just put it straight wide. That is a fantastic save down low with his feet there. Let's uh, skip the little animation. I just as I just plug my laptop into charge so that it doesn't die mid-recording. That's a good cross. Urente's up over the top of the bar. Of all the players to... Uh, to or was it Chiellini? One of them. Was it Chiellini? It was Chiellini, in fact. Of all the players to uh, to have to challenge against in the air, Urente and Chiellini are the two that I'm least confident in uh, being able to beat in the air with. Anyway, Polly here. Down to El Shirawi. Go on, Mario. Just give me a burst of acceleration to get away. Actually, Elsha could be in here if I can find him. Get a turn in. Finesse with El Shirawi, they say. Takes a deflection, goes wide for a corner. End-to-end -end stuff right now. Lulic is going to cross the corner in quite sharpish. Victor Ruiz is going to go up off the bar. Can we get to the second head? He can, but it goes backwards rather than towards the goal. And Balotelli can't capitalise. Here's Victor Ruiz again into Montalivo. Oh, and there's a man there. And we've been tackled and Juventus are going to break away. Across from Isla, in off the post. Juventus, even though their man's gone down injured by the looks of things, Isla just too, I left him too much space on that far side. It's a great header from Carlos Tevez. We find ourselves 1 0 down. Tevez has actually injured himself. Perhaps he uh, he fell awkwardly. And they've actually subbed him, like Marco Vucinic or Mirko Vucinic has come on. So uh, Tevez puts him 1 0 up, but at what cost? Putting the pressure on. His last final stage, he's trying to get them to make a mistake, but we can't get them to make a mistake. And the final, not the final, the half time whistle goes. So we go in at half time, 1 0 down, unfortunately. A really good header from Carlos Tevez into the back of the net, in off the post. Unfortunately for them, though, he did pick up the injury, which means he will have to, uh, have to see out the rest of the game from the bench because they brought on Mirko Vucinic, who, uh, as of yet, hasn't touched the ball, I don't think. But let's have a look at the stats and see how we're getting on. It's quite close, actually. In possession and chances created, both only had one shot on target each, and uh, unfortunately Sirigu saved ours and uh, they scored theirs. But still, I reckon we can uh, get ourselves back in this second half. If we can just concentrate, keep possession, and make sure we play the right passes at the right time. Easter with a quick throw to Mirko Vucinic. It's done well to turn me there. Fernando Llorente try and nip in with Abate. We have to. Oh, that wasn't where that was supposed to go. I didn't expect Honda to come and get the ball there. Matip's actually just wandered around all of me. Here's Mirko Vucinic. Oh my god, how has he got that sort of angle on it with his left foot whilst diving in? Well, the first highlight of the second half is them going 2 0 up. And I don't know how he's been able to, like, through the laws of physics, be able to get that shot away. That doesn't, strictly speaking, make, make a lot of sense. I want to see it. This should be a good angle. That's just. A really weird connection of the ball with his studs more so than anything else. Right, 2-0 down. We need to make a change. So you can see, we haven't had a chance yet, second half. Uh, Elshar's coming off for Dos Santos. And then we'll swap him and Lulic round. So Giovanni can jump inside on his weak foot. And we'll bring Lacazette on at Cam for Honda. So we've got a bit more pace in the side now. Let's see if we can get ourselves back in it. Hopefully we can, because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to lose disappointingly in our, our first ever cup final. But so far we haven't been good enough. Time for Juventus to make a change. On comes the infamous Andrea Pirlo for John Matip. It's a strange change. I think they were playing Matip in a holding role rather than at uh, at centre back, because they've got Caceres, Ogbonna, and Chiellini on the pitch all at the same time. So. He would be playing four centre-backs, would they? Into Ballo, got a runner. It's Alexander Lacazette. His first touch is absolutely terrible. That could have been a glorious chance to get us back in the game there. I am distinctly disappointed with you, you tiny little Frenchman. Get a challenge in. Well done. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Mario. Lovely ball over the top. Giovanni Dos Santos is on his left foot. He's brought it down well. Can he get the shot away? That was weird. He kind of sat it up again, I want to see a replay of that, he pulled it down and then it kind of bobbled up at him, an acrobatic attempt to be completely honest, Lulic on the corner again, I've got a man on the edge of the box and they've gone inside so I'm going to actually try and use him if I can, it's Giovanni Dos Santos, first touch to take it onto his left foot, gives it a whack, another great save from Salvatore, Sirigu, stop it boy, really starting to whip me off, Giovanni takes the corner himself, he's going to come in, can I get there first, they've been able to clear it half away, Montalivo can't win that header, Lich Steiner, He's rather fortunate with the way that deflects back to him. They've got the chance to counter on me here. Lacazette hasn't exactly got the strength to get 
rid of the ball. Oh, that wasn't the best of clearances, but we're going to pick up a free kick, or they're going to pick up a free kick for offside. Put the pressure on, though. Oh, I missed him. And did get involved? Yes. He's Balotelli into Lacazette. Oh, he didn't take his first touch. Well, I wanted him to take the shot, and it's a poor one. And it's gone wide. Why didn't he take his first touch early there? He just let it run across him. Uh, completely threw the chance and ruined the move. That's annoying, to say the least. 2-0 down with 10 minutes to go. Bates made the run. He's kept going. Trying. Oh, it's Chiellini. He'll go inside. I'm going to whip it. Balotelli's going to go up. It's not going to reach him. Oh, it's just The ball just hasn't dropped for us in this game at all. In the last couple of minutes now, we've only got one minute of added time and we need two goals. And Bonucci's miscontrolled that. Vucinic is in. Missed the tackle. Slotted through to Llorente. The chance to finish us off. Isn't going to be taken as Guita gets down. And away we go. Please don't blow the final whistle. Come on, Ballo. He's blowing the final whistle. It's Juventus 2. It's AC Milan 0. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to win the cup final. I do apologise. But uh, it was a poor display, to be completely honest. John Matip and Carlos Tevez with the goals. Disappointment all round for our Milan boys. We end the season on, unfortunately, a sad note. Although we did qualify for the Champions League, finished second in the league behind Juventus, of all teams. So uh, it's not a disappointing season, all told. So uh, we'll qualify for the next year's Champions League. We'll do our best in Europe next year. We'll have a season roundup tomorrow. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. But uh, that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. I do apologise. Juventus win the double. And I will leave you in the hands of Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. The teams can't express themselves, but that wasn't the case here. The losers as well played their part. Well, these are moments that flash by, but the experienced players will be just taking it in, drinking in the, the moment when you have a, a success like this, Alan. Oh, yeah, I mean, there are moments to say, but you can't take them for granted because you never quite know when they're going to come again. Well, they're in the spotlight, and they've earned the right to be so. Superb effort from this team. Something to show the grandkids, isn't it? BT like this, they'll play it back after they've retired and really will appreciate it even more then. The winners today, congratulations.